Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, and today I'm going to talk about wax seals in the second half of the video. But in the first half, let's talk about packaging up art that has sold that's going to get shipped to somebody. I want to up my game on the interior presentation. The outside might have bubble wrap and recycled cardboard and everything, but I want to create a treasure around the artwork on the inside. And I'm starting with some nice heavy backer board that I purchased. You can get illustration board or something really heavy so that it is seriously protective of the work. No more recycled cardboard at this point. <laughs> I put a piece of glassine over the artwork and then wrap the whole thing in glassine. I want to get some stickers made for that center portion, that center piece of tape that says something about the value of what they're about to open and make them feel like they've made a really good purchase. Next up is a card. Always do handmade cards and include a handwritten note to them by first name, thanking them for making an investment in the art because that's what buying art is all about. And th then I put in a business card and I need to get my business cards reprinted. I just realized that when I looked at it. I thought, oh man, okay. Another printing job, stickers, business cards. Another thing I wanna get is better envelopes for this. My envelopes are fine for mailing in the regular mail, but I need to do something better. So I will be sharing what I'm going to choose for envelopes later on in another video. Then craft paper. Notice that I didn't tape that and I'm going to fold the ends in the opposite direction than you normally would when wrapping a package for a very specific reason. And I may change my packaging for gifts in this same way. But I'm using craft paper. This one is 40 pound. I used to use the stuff that I got from the frame department at my local hobby big box store. And it was just not as nice. It wrinkled if you looked at it. And this stuff, look how nice that package looks. I have one seam now on this side that I can put a wax seal on. How perfect is that, right? So I got out my wax seal warmer is what this thing is called. I think of it as more of a stove. You put a little candle in it. And then you can stick the spoon on it that melts the wax. And I'm using what are called wax beads. You can buy them in all different kinds of colors and put them in. The number you put in depends on the size of the stamp you're using, the size of the blob you need. And you just let it sit there. So this is the stamp I'll be using today. It's an S and it's not one I designed. It's just a generic one that's out there. They have lots of alphabet stamps, all different kinds of styles. And then you sit there and you watch the wax just melt in your wax seal warmer. And it takes a while. Don't expect to do 100 Christmas cards with this or you'll be at it all day long. You don't need the wax seal warmer. You could just sit there with a spoon and hold it over top of a flame. But that would be a lot of sitting there holding it. <laughs> this warmer actually comes with a spoon that has a wooden handle. So the wooden handle keeps your hand from the heat of the metal. It's kind of a nice little set. I do recommend it from my limited experience that I have with wax seals. I used a pin to see if it was ready yet. So I stirred it up a little bit and then poured the wax in a circle. If you go round and round, you can make a roughly roundish shape. Some say that you should make it bigger than the stamp that you're using. Some people say make it smaller and just let it squish naturally. Leave it for 20 seconds. It's a great time to clean out your spoon if you're gonna change colors. If you're gonna keep the same color, then just leave the wax in there and then remelt it next time you make a seal. And then after your 20 seconds, you can just wiggle it back and forth a little bit and it should pop right out real easily. And then you have your finished wax seal. And then I have the finish of my interior presentation, which has a crooked seal on it, but you know, everything is imperfect and that's part of me. <laughs> There's extra packaging that goes around this to protect it as it goes through the mail, but this is the treasured nut on the inside where I want the person who bought it to feel really special. And that's where I wanted to get into this wax seal thing. But I have so many ideas now for using wax seals on cards. So if you want to get more on wax seals in the future, I will have another video coming up on some ideas for that. Subscribe and hit that little bell so you can be notified whenever I have a new video out. And that is it for me. I will talk to you again very soon because I'm not gone from YouTube for very long. I'll see you later.